<laughs> all right now got this all stuffed in now i have to get the other one right here <laughs> see i like this the little hooks they got on here so what i did i overlapped my two tarps so if it does rain on my ropes i'm not getting wet i already had too many experience of getting wet wet with my t-frame Not no more. Watch me. There you go. See, I like about it about these tarps got all these little carabiners and hooks on it and I stuff that in the bag too Now I might keep that on the side. I put that in a car if I go camp car camping. Cause that takes a lot of room or I can carry it on the side of me. Alright, now the next chart. All this rope everywhere. But I, I like it because it's fun to do. All this rope I got. It gives me my mind to, to think about things. And once I got it set up, I'm set up for life. Well, for a long time. I don't have to take it down and it's strong. If the wind blows or the rain comes, hey, I'm protected in my shelter. I can sit down inside my, my area where I sleep at and be protected from the elements. So what I'm going to do is just tie each of these t the things up. Yeah, I don't have to see that. All right, I tied them all up because that saves time on me. Now I want to unleash the other side of all the stakes that I have. So you don't need to watch me do that. Now I got all my uh, ties down, all my stakes out, which you, can't, you don't need to see. And I'm just start stuffing. Make sure all the ties are off first before you start stuffing. All right, what I do is tie, stuff the rope in each separate little compartment so it won't get tangled up. And I stuff this. And I stuff that. And then. Then, after I stuff all my ropes, the rest is easy. <sighs> stuff in the bag. <laughs> stuff your bag all the way to the bottom. And that compact it. Uh. 
after you compact it, there's a thick side and a flimsy side. Take all the air out and fold it in two, just like this, and start turning the hard flap inward. And that takes all the air out, so you won't have an air pocket. You have nothing but equipment. And voila. The last of the bunch. If I'm not mistaken, I put my hammock up first. But first, we got to take out the vents and the interns. We have to unstuff it. Come on. Now, when you store your, your hammocks, I mean your, your uh, sleeping bag, make sure you store it outside, outside your bag. And you gotta fluff it up when you, when you are uh, ready to use it. Because if you compact your bag, your sleeping bag, all the material goes in one spot. So you gotta fluff it up, and when you get home, take it out and lay it on a couch or something, or somewhere you don't lay or sleep or, During the summer, during winter, I change uh, the items out. Some of the stuff was through my summer stuff and some of my winter stuff. All right, let's take that. First, I'm gonna take down my, the uh, string I had for my uh, blankets to keep me warm at night. Ridge line. All right, now I'm gonna take uh, my screen net down. Now, let's say if it's raining or wet or whatever, you take the inside down first. <laughs> So your hammock, uh, your stuff won't get wet. Always improvise. <laughs> you people who make hammers need to make these bags bigger. Damn you people. I think y'all get a kick out of watching us do this. Look at it, he's trying to stuff it, he's hard. <laughs> now the T-frame. Oh, I got, it looks like I got man lion balls, but now I got some of these too. Okay, where did I? Now, uh, taking down the T-frame. That's a lot of rope. I want you to stand all hair on here, you can see the whole thing. Back further, there we go. All right, taking down the key frame. You know, one day all this worked out fine, the rope was perfect, the tree lines is perfect, all the trees in nearby was perfect. That's my little stick thing. Let's pop the stick, pull the knife. Voila, pull the rope, and do your little thing. Alright, you've seen me do this before. Bye.